Hello there, and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash, and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development, and personal grooming. Now, every chap on his journey towards chap nirvana will discover that to dress, to impress, every time you want to look your best, it does require you to undertake a regime of looking after your kit, all right? Because looking after your kit means that your clothes are going to look their best when you wear them, and they're going to last as long as possible. Because, you know, these things are important to us. If we're investing in quality items, we want to make sure that they're well taken care of and they look their best. So we are required to have something of a small arsenal of accessories which will help us in that journey of looking after our gear. Now I've put together the list of things which I think are the most important to have in your clothing care collection. And here they come. Now the first enemy that we seek to overcome in our battle to look our best is lint or fluff or those little flecks of loose material or organic matter which end up landing on our shoulders or on our clothing somewhere, which just takes the edge off the way you look. And to make sure that you don't suffer with fluff or lint on your clothing, there are a number of items which I use in my little arsenal to keep myself fluff free. Now, probably the most commonly used is the old um, adhesive lint roller. Uh, quite simply, it's a piece of sticky tape wrapped around some form of plastic frame which you run up and down on your clothing and it picks up all those bits of fluff and lint and anything else on there and it sticks to the adhesive, gets rid of it. These are great. I know a lot of people will say they leave a little bit of the adhesive on the, on the outer surface of your garment. Perhaps it's not the best, but to be honest, I think there are very few things which are better at getting fluff and other things like that off your clothing, but you know, use sparingly. The other thing you can use if you don't want to have um, the adhesive tape version, because obviously when it comes to the circular economy, you have to remove that adhesive layer when you get a new bit on there, um, you can use a magic brush. It's just, you know, a material which is abrasive, not abrasive, but sort of sticky on one side. You run it up and down your clothing and it'll catch those bits of lint and fluff on there. Good job. Similarly, you will also always want to have in your possession a nice clothes brush, ideal for just brushing off your clothing every time you use it. For me, um, I use one or the other of these pretty much every time I wear one of my jackets. So before I put this jacket on this morning, I inspected it. I looked to see if I could see any fluff or lint. If I did, I would have run it over with my adhesive, you know, lint catcher. At the end of the day, I will brush off any of the, the surfaces that I can see with my clothing brush. Because obviously bits of dust, bits of material would have landed on my jacket when I'm wearing it. And by brushing it off, it just means that when I pick it up next time, it's going to look its best and it's going to be you know, protected from any of the negative effects which having dust and dirt on it will have in the long run. Now, staying on the subject of my lovely tweed jacket, the best way to make it look its best for the longest is to make sure it's protected when I'm not wearing it. Because when it's not fitted to my body, you know, if you throw it on the back of a chair, it's not gonna drape properly, it's going to sag, it's not gonna look its best, it's gonna get creased. So in the long run, the best thing to do when you put your jacket away is to use a shaped um, coat hanger to keep the shape of the shoulders on your jacket. Now, ideally, I would say it would probably be better to have a wooden coat hanger because the natural material allows uh, the absorption of perspiration, of moisture, uh, and also of odors. But in this case, I've got an example of a jacket coat hanger, which has a sort of velveteen edges to the, to the corners of it, which allow the jacket just to sit nicely protected and in its natural shape while it's on the, the hanger. The best way to keep it looking its best. Obviously, when you put it into your wardrobe, make sure it's not scrunched up alongside other garments. It's allowed to hang and drape properly. That's the way to keep its shape. Same goes for your trousers. Now, if you don't have some, the best way to keep your trousers looking their best is to buy some special trouser hangers. Quite simply, you know, you put the hem of your trouser in there, 
the trouser hangs down, keeping its creases, keeping its shape. By far the easiest way to make sure your trousers maintain their crease-free look in between your wears, and it'll do you the service of not needing to iron it so often. Okay, so staying on the topic of your wardrobe and hanging your clothes, there is one little blighter out there whose sole purpose in life is to spoil your sartorial day, and that is our greatest enemy, the moth. The moth wants to get into your wardrobe and it wants to eat all of your natural materials. Cashmere, woolen, they'll go through them all, they will ruin them. There is no way back when you've been the victim of a moth attack, okay? So the best way to repel those moths is to use something like an insecticide. So this is uh, an insecticide device. You just hang it over the railing in your wardrobe and it emits a fragrance hormonal or whatever it is, which will keep the moth away. They don't like it, they'll stay away from your clothing. If you prefer a more natural approach, you can uh, use cedar balls in the bottom of your wardrobe. I believe lavender does a good job as well. But certainly look into ways of protecting your clothing from those pesky blighters, those moths. Because once you've been had, you'll never forget it. Now the next item is not necessarily a clothing care accessory, but it's something, an accessory, which I use pretty much every day because it's so practical and it would be a sin if I didn't share it with you. And it is, of course, the pocket square holder. Now I love wearing pocket squares. I think they add texture, pattern and colour to pretty much any jacket that you wear. But I know many people don't bother because their pocket square always rides down in the pocket and it's a pain in the neck having to keep puffing, puffing them up and putting them back in the way that you like they look. So the alternative is to use a pocket square holder. These are really simple. You can even manufacture one of these of your own at home using you know a cereal packet, bit of cardboard, cut it out, just three little slots. It allows you to pull your pocket square through that pocket square holder get it looking nice and plump, however you like it. Then when you place that in your pocket, your pocket square is held firmly in place. It's not gonna ride down in the pocket and you're sorted. These take all of the annoyance out of wearing a pocket square. They cost not a lot at all if you buy them, but you can make them for nothing. So pocket square holder, definitely on that list of clothing care accessories that'll benefit the way you look. Now, when it comes to looking after your clothes, every chap should be adept at maintaining your clothing. And yes, that does mean sorting problems out when they happen. Whether it's a hem that's come undone or a button that's fallen off, you've got to be prepared for it and you've got to be able to fix it. So everybody should have a sewing kit. Now, I've had a sewing kit all my adult life, a little lesson that the military taught me as a young man. In your sewing kit, you need some essentials. You need needles because you're going to be sewing. You need thread of all different material, cotton, white and black at the minimum, because when that button comes off your shirt, you've got to be able to sew it on. Um, there are things you can have like safety pins. I've got a whole pile of safety pins in my kit because they allow you to cope with that catastrophic failure of the zip on your trousers until such time you can get it mended properly. So always have some safety pins to hand and any other items that may be helpful. Um, you know, magic hem, sticking materials, which especially for tailored purposes, if the hem of your trousers comes down, you need some way of at least temporarily repairing it until you can get it fixed properly. So, you know, build a little sewing kit of all the things you're going to need and keep things in one place. You know, when you buy a new suit, you'll always find spare buttons in the pocket for that garment. Keep them in your sewing kit for the occasions when you lose those buttons or they come off your jacket, you know where to go to get the replacement. So maintain a sewing kit. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It'll be with you for life. And when you need it, it can save your life. Now moving down your body, at the end of your trousers, you will find your shoes, all right? Now they can be some of the most expensive items in your wardrobe, and they go through the most punishment because your shoes are in contact with the ground every time you wear them. They get wet, they get muddy, you need to look after them. 
and you need to build and maintain a comprehensive shoe care kit. At the very least, you want to have conditioning cream, shoe cream and wax polish. You need a few brushes. You need to keep them all together in one place so they are at hand when you need them. It's an investment which will pay you off year after year because if your shoes look good you know your first impression that you make on people will be its very best and your shoes will last so much longer if you maintain them and protect them from the elements and you can do that by maintaining a shoe care kit now when it comes to maintaining your shoes the best investment you can make are cedar shoe trees when i buy a new pair of shoes I buy a new pair of shoe trees and they stay together for the whole time that those shoes are in my ownership. Why? Well, shoe trees really work well for you on many different levels. First of all, when you insert the shoe tree into your shoe, it keeps the shape and the form of the shoe true to the way it should look. That way you don't get creases and you know the shoe just looks its best. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, a wooden, particularly a cedar shoe tree, will allow the shoe to dry out naturally. It will aid the shoe drying out because, you know, your foot creates perspiration. That moisture within the shoe, if it's not allowed time to dry thoroughly, will build up, the, the leather will deteriorate, and you will also get unpleasant odours because your perspiration has bacteria in it that will dry and it will smell. The shoe tree helps you in that regard because it absorbs moisture and particularly cedar, which has a pleasing smell, some of that nice smell will be imparted into the leather. So a cedar shoe tree will definitely improve the longevity and the look of your shoes. Put them in every time you wear your shoes, allow the shoe to dry out. Dress shoes, don't forget, should not be worn day after day after day. They should be allowed time to, to dry so that that moisture dissipates and then with your shoe tree your shoe will last so much longer and finally when it comes to looking after your shoes the way that you put them on and take them off has a big difference too so shoe horn something as simple as a piece of shaped plastic can do wonders for the longevity and the look of your shoes because let's think of your high quality leather dress shoes they should be fairly tight fitting to the foot. All right, that's the way that shoes fit. Now, if you force your foot into the shoe when you're putting the shoe on, you know, you don't undo the laces, you put the shoe on as quickly as you can, because let's be honest, nobody wants to spend five minutes putting their shoes on every morning, unlacing them and lacing them up. It can damage the rearmost part of your shoe because that pressure breaks down the integrity of the heel of your shoe, the back of your shoe. The best way to overcome that is to use a shoe horn. It makes placing the shoe on your foot so much easier. It stops any damage being caused to the shoe and it maintains the integrity of the back of your shoe much, much longer. And let's be honest, it costs nothing. I mean, I actually found this one in a hotel, it must have fallen into my bag, so it was free, but you know, they're inexpensive and they will last forever. So no excuses, get yourself a shoe horn. So there we go, folks. Those are the clothing care accessories that I recommend you have close to hand every day. If you do, they will protect your clothing, they will make you look better, and they will protect your investment in the items that you've bought. They will last much longer, and they will look better when you're wearing them. Everybody's a winner. So go out, make sure you've got that kit. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again very soon.